Hey YouTube, this is Dagonair here, and I just wanted to do a quick video showing some of the vehicles that I have implemented in my server, and uh, hopefully it'll, you know, intrigue you guys and get you guys into my server, hunting down these vehicles, hopefully being able to find them and play with them. Um, so the first one we have here is the Humvee Medical. Um, personally, I put this one in uh, simply because I really enjoy playing the hero role. And for those of you that can get up to the hero role and drive around this thing, I mean, it's just a great combination. You're a hero, you've been helping people out, you've been bandaging them, uh, giving them blood transfusions. This wouldn't be a bad vehicle for you to drive around in. It just makes sense. So, I put it in. Now we have the military off-road vehicle here. Um, I personally like this one simply because of uh, the way that it looks and also I think it just, I don't know, just all around is just a much better vehicle than the UAZ or the Ural. Um, but I think, to be honest, it might have been this antenna. I think that was the antenna that just intrigued me and the tire on the front. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Then, uh, by request on a lot of other people's servers actually, I've seen a lot of people asking the admins, you know, is this vehicle in it, you know, or can they put this one in? Well, I decided I'm going to put it in. The SUV. I believe it's because of the leather interior, the sleek, metallic black, the beautiful chrome in the front and on the sides. It's all around very, very nice looking vehicle. Now we have the military uh, Humvee here. And the reason I put this one in is because it just makes sense. I mean, if you think about it, we have a zombie apocalypse going on, guys. The military had to come in at some point in time and try to help out and some somewhere on this map there has to be at least one of these so I put in a couple of them just because it makes sense for there to be a military Humvee military coming in being overrun and this thing just be sitting around somewhere so I put that in and likewise along the same train of thought I put in the Vodnik I mean if there's a mili if there's a zombie apocalypse the military's gotta come in with something more than just a Humvee you know cruising in with a couple of guys They've got to have some kind of assault force that can protect their men that didn't fully work. So, this is what I got here, the Vodnik. It comes with two PKT gunner seats, front and back. This is an amphibious vehicle, so it can go on land and water, uh, which makes it great for traveling uh, from Kamishobo to the island uh, to see if there is that helicopter spawn. And uh, this thing just does a great job at, you know, withstanding a lot of damage, uh, taking down walls, and uh, just cruising around in general. I, I've had a blast with this vehicle on my server, and uh, so have some of the other people that have played on it thus far. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. Then we have the Osprey as our first flying vehicle that I put into the server. The uh, MV-22 can take off or land like a helicopter or a plane, depending on your preference, how much runway room you have, if you have any room or not. Um, then we have the uh, AH-6X, that is uh, just a great small little bird. If you need to get from wherever your campsite is straight down to the coastline without drawing too much attention to yourself and without being this huge target for people to shoot down, it's very agile, very quick and mobile. Uh, I think it's just a great vehicle all around just to go and pick up one guy and bring him to your base to gear him up and then move on with your game. Then, by personal request of uh, Tristan, um, we have the MH-60S. Uh, this vehicle looks like it can hold, I believe, about 16 people with uh, two gunner seats, a pilot, a co-pilot, and uh, then we have 12 people in the back, which is quite a number of people. Um, but, you know what, I'm okay with that. It's not the entire server that's going to be fitting in this thing, and I highly doubt this thing's ever going to get filled up. If anybody can get this thing filled up and put it on... Uh, you know, record it and put it on a YouTube and link it to me. I I I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something crazy for you guys. Just just so you guys know. I don't know. I'll think of something. Um yeah, anyway. So these are some of the vehicles that I put into my server. If you guys have any vehicles that you'd like to see in the server, um or uh you have a something that you think would work pretty well, just go ahead and let me know and uh I'll take a look at it. I'll see if it makes sense in the server. I mean, it doesn't make sense to have, like, a jet in the server. Because you only have two airstrips that you can really land on anyway. So, um, but go ahead and shoot me, you know, a request in the comments. Find me on the game. Or shoot me an email, um, which you'll find on my server at OneDagTV. 
Also, guys, I just updated my server to where now it is running at the most updated version of DayZ, the 1.7.3. Um, so you are going to have to go into Daisy Commander and download that or update it uh, in order to play on my server. Um, also, uh, in the, the description is going to be a link to my other video that's telling you how to get on my server to be able to use uh, these vehicles or to get these vehicles. Uh, it is required to play on my server to have it, so click on the link in the description if you don't have those files already. And um, I hope to see you guys on here soon. Alright, take it easy guys.